Hi, this is Soulgazer. So today I got a review for the newest Curry sneaker. And this is the first sneaker by Curry brand. So it's no longer Under Armour. So we have the Curry logo here, which is the updated version. And also Curry. It's a foil. And logo here. This part and this part is usually Under Armour logo, but now it's replaced by Curry brand logo. I got size 12. I'll explain about the, the fit in mid part of the video. And it's 160. It's $30 more than what it used to be. I think we had like 140, but I think it's the first time going to 160 range. On the back, there's nothing. The other side. The bottom of it is just yellow with the curry logo on it. And let's look at this sneaker. And there's nothing in here because I already wore them. Inside the box is all yellow. And the paper with curry logo on it. So before I get into the review, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support and let's look at this sneaker. So this is the new Curry model, Curry 8. I've worn this already. I just cleaned it up, but it's still a little dirty. I cleaned it up because I was going to touch this and I don't want to touch it with dirt on it. San Francisco City streets are pretty dirty. So, so I got this one today at Champ Sports. Um, when I went to Foot Locker, they said they didn't have it. They're not going to have it, but... Later on, I found out that they did have it too, but since finish line or no, Champ Sports were going to have it for sure, I went there straight because I was working. They have that much time to go shopping. So I just picked it up there. I tried size 11, uh, which is standard size for me, and also size 11 and a half standard for me as far as Curry sneaker goes. Most of his sneakers are 11 and a half. And this one is actually 12. I had to go even bigger because this upper, this part is pretty tight. And I'll explain that in a little while. Um, the basic information about the shoes almost looks like 12 right here. The Jordan 12s was this part, I think. And... The upper part is mostly knit. This part even looks a little bit like Ultra Boost type of mesh, where it has like a little bit bigger weave and tighter weave towards the toe. It stretches pretty well compared to the other model, but it's not like really stretchy, soft fabric. It's still stiff because you have to be able to play basketball with these. Same thing throughout the upper. And there is a lining. So on the inside, when you have your feet in, there is a lining. It's like a stretchy knit that's a little bit smoother than this inside. Almost like that. So you're not going to see your socks through because there's additional layer. And same here. So it is a little strong compared to something like Ultra Boost. And there's even like a little padding in here, around here. I could feel it all over. It 
it is pretty stiff even here around the toe box there's a lot of uh, reinforcement in here almost like a little plastic feel like a cup the graphic This is stitched on top of the knit fabric. It's all printed on. Has like a leatherish feel. I don't think they're real leather, but it's that type of feel. Embossed logo for curry. And I'm not sure what print this is, like a almost like a galaxy ish. Um, looks okay on the inner side. Still have this taping going or the panel going on, and on the heel, it has five stars. I'm not 100% sure, but I think three of them on the top, this is kids, and I think this two is Curry and Aisha. And if you look on top of that, it says, I can do all things, SC30. And pull tab with curry on it so the outside is like a leather fabric the inner side is like a tape for this part unlike some of the other curries that is high and stiff with a lot of reinforcement right here. This is actually pretty flexible. So you can see, it will actually flip over if you wanted to. So it's a lot more flexible compared to the old one. So even if you go like that, um, it won't hurt as much. Even if you go on your toe like this, it will bend, so it will be a lot easier. The heel cup is stiff, but not super stiff. So there's a lot more mobility around here. Some of the old one was really stiff around here. So compared to that, this is a lot more flexible. Same thing with these pieces right here. Some of the older ones, uh, I can't remember which model they were, but these were like stiff uh, plastic like TPUs. And when you bend, it actually creases right here or it was hard to crease right here and it was cutting in to the skin so a lot more softer um, fabric than the models from the past and it's all one piece so there is no tongue or throat it's just one piece there's no separation at all. And there's a reinforcement right here for the lace loop. And the top one has a contrasting color on both sides. Three stripes on both sides. And at the opening, it also has a contrast color And inside has this like rib or ladder type of texture. And right here, another logo. And there's nothing except for curry logo right here 
and print. It says the land of the underdogs. And that's pretty much it was the upper part. The midsection and the bottom, it's all together. And they use a new technology called Flow. As you can see, this texture is pretty crazy. And this is the also. I wore it once. I wore it once, um, like all day long. Got a little bit dirty. Um, this is after wash, but it's already definitely worn looking. Under Armour logo at the bottom. This is the only place that has Under Armour logo. And that's pretty much it for the design. So with the sizing, like I mentioned earlier, this is size 12. Typically, I'm wearing size 11, 11 and a half. Um, either one of them, depending on the size. But for a lot of curries, I've been wearing 11 and a half just because it's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, for this model, I'm definitely going size 12 for every single color. Mostly because of the upper, this part. I'm typically not a big fan of all one piece upper because I have a thick uh, feet. Usually, I don't have enough space here or around the toe box. I need a little bit more space going higher up as well as the width because I have wide feet and a tall, um, pretty thick. So a lot of times these models don't fit me well. And if this was any other line, let's say uh, Giannis or some other brand that I don't care too much about, I probably would skip on this just because of that issue. But because this is curry, I needed to have it. So I had to go up additional size to be able to fit. And even with that, it's definitely not the most comfortable, but it's bearable compared to size 11, 11 and a half. 11 was out of question. Uh, 11 and a half was tight, 12 was okay. When I go up, a full size, then I had enough space around the toe box and around this part. Um, when I didn't go up half size uh, at 11 and a half, toe box was okay. Um, it had okay space and having that little stretch right here definitely helped. But even with that, this part, it wasn't wide enough for me. So I could really feel the compression around the upper part and I probably could work and maybe if it stretch, it'll be comfortable, but I don't think I could wear it enough to break it down to be able to come, uh, to be feel comfortable in the shoes. So size 12 is definitely my way um, of going. If you have a thinner feet or narrow feet, you probably could wear the usual size, but to, uh, just for me and anyone that has like a thick feet, you might want to go another half size up. And as far as wearing this, it's not flat inside. It has slight arch going up. And I could definitely feel that my heel side was a little bit higher than the bottom, uh, the toe side. So you could definitely see the or feel the angle of it. If you're going to walk all day with this, I won't recommend it. This is definitely not a walking shoes. Uh, I think it's made for basketball, so um, they never really intended for you to walk all day or stand all day. I was standing uh, for a little while waiting in line for something and I could definitely feel my weight on my knee. So there was no cushion inside. So all the 
weight was coming to my feet and my knee. So if you're thinking I'm using this to walk all day, let's say like going to Disneyland or something, this is definitely not going to be a comfortable one. Um, if you were to do that in this shoes, you probably need to replace the insole and put something that has a little more cushion inside. Um, I'm not sure how it performed in basketball because I don't play basketball. But being on the floor, like a wooden floor, it did have a pretty good grip. Uh, it was raining today in San Francisco. And even with the wet ground, it felt pretty good. I didn't feel any slip or anything. There's definitely more colors coming out soon. I seen a couple colorway. I think that's coming out in the calendar already. Picking up the one from next week, for sure. Um, there was a one really expensive one that came out at Complex Land today. I wanted to pick it up. I thought of it and decided not to get it in the morning. When I went back in the afternoon, they were already gone. So I'm a little disappointed that they were gone. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that they were gone. So I didn't have to spend 3500 on the freaking shoes. I'm going to be a little bit more selective with colors to pick up. So I might not do as much with you. But this is pretty much my first impression. I'll be wearing more of these. Um, uh, we're going to wear this for maybe one week, two weeks or so to do a follow-up video on how comfortable they are and why you really think about this sneaker as far as the street goes. But that will be coming in maybe 2021. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support and see you next time.